it's Jarrett Moore again with the Enterprise DNA team. Back again to show you a quick video on how I use bookmarks in the most recent Enterprise DNA challenge that we're having on the forum. This is a quick overview of what my entry looked like for the challenge. To give us a brief overview of what we were challenged for this, I'll head on over to the Enterprise DNA forum and pull up the link for this challenge right here. And as we scroll down the screen here, we can see that we were challenged with some different things on purchases, receiving and billing um, for a company. And we were supposed to come up with a one page or a single page summary to give us the feedback that we wanted for this challenge. The link to this will be in the description below. So you can go over the whole brief and see all of the entries that were entered during this contest. Now I'm going to head on over to my write-up for this challenge here. The link to this will be in the description below as well. As we scroll down here, we can see pictures of my image, um, a little response from Sam on my entry, and then below I gave a little write-up. Um, I'll let you review that when you get a chance to do so. How I got my little inspiration for this color theme was based on the movie Cocktail from 1988 with a young Tom Cruise. I know some of you that are probably too that were probably too young to appreciate that movie, but for those of us that remember that movie, it was a great movie. That's how I got my inspiration for my color theme on this challenge. Let's head on back over to Power BI and I can show you how I came up with the bookmarks for this challenge. Now that we're back in the Power BI desktop, I'll show you the functionality of these bookmarks. As many times people will use bookmarks and create separate pages to implement this strategy, but what I do is I actually just create and hide different things using the, the selection pane in the Power BI desktop. Here's a little bit on how this gets, to, gets implemented and how it's used. When I highlight over this, you can see that I have, um, this is the material view. Um, how, how I know that is we have the material slicer right here to, to give me all the information on the materials. What I do inside the Power BI desktop is if I hold down the control key and left click, this will take me over to the purchase order view. And then if I want to go back to the materials, all I do is hit the control and left mouse click. In the Power BI service, if you have access to the report, all you would do is just click on the icon to get you to switch you back from view from the different views. But inside the Power BI desktop, we have to use the control key and then the left mouse click. So how I go in and do this and created this was first as I head on over to the internet and I go to a site iconsdb.com and I look up for white icons and this is where I find all of the uh, the white icons that I use on a lot of my reports then all you would do is go over here and do a search for this entry I searched for hammer and that was my materials logo so once I hit search here that's the logo that I use there and then I can download this um, in the appropriate format that you want the other one was actually a purchase order. So if I type that in here, search for purchase order, there's the purchase order. So all I do is download that, save it to a file. Now let's head back on over to the Power BI desktop, go over here to this page that I've hidden. And on here you can see where I've actually inserted, if you go to insert, go to image, and I inserted each one of these image is into the into the uh, the desktop here and then I went in for each one of them and did a little bit of a title um, named it and changed the font so that it appears the way that I wanted it to so once that I was satisfied with how these look right here what I do is hold down both of these icons here and we're going to copy and we're going to paste then we can bring this down right here then what I'm going to do is for for each example, what we're going to do is is create that background for the image like shown on this screen here below 
is to where you can see that on this screen, the material screen is the PO is sort of whited, whited out. So let's head back on over to this page here. And for this one, I will highlight this and white this one out. So we'll go to background and then set a zero. Let's go to about 7%. Let's see what that does. Pretty good. And then go down here and we'll go choose background and we'll choose that 7% again of transparency. I don't know why that didn't work. Yep, let me hit the seven again. There we go, that was good. All right, so now what I do from this point here is I grab my screen capture tool that you have. Uh, the one I'm using is called Snagit. And then what I do is hit the capture button here. And then what I'm gonna do is capture each one of these like so. And then what you'll do is you'll just repeat that step for the other one below here and we'll get a file that looks like this. Let me open up where that file is saved. For example, I have the material, yes. That's what I saved that one as. And then this one I saved as PO, yes. So what I can do then is just insert those images by clicking over here on the insert tab and in inserting the images I'll insert this one first and then we can insert this image here now let's just resize these images here by clicking on the icon and go over to the general section and we'll change this one to i believe it was 187 by 86 on the previous screen that looks about right and then we'll do the same for here we'll go back over to general go 187 and 86 now that looks good so the next thing we'll do here is we'll get rid of these icons over here since we already have the pictures established so we'll go ahead and remove all these real quick and after we have that done we have our two images here, and I just kept these slicers at the top. That way we can toggle between these once I get the bookmarks set up. So what I'm gonna do is go back up here to the, uh, the main ribbon here, and we're gonna go to the View tab, and we're gonna open up the Bookmarks tab. And you can see right here that I already, this is the original one that I had set up on the previous page. I just called it PO and I called it Material. But we're gonna set up two new ones here. So what I'm gonna do is create a new bookmark just by hitting the add button and we'll call this PO version 2 and then we can hit add again and we'll mark this one material version 2 so once we have the bookmarks established what I'm gonna do is click back on the PO version first and on here what I want to do is open up the selection pane now and from here what I'm going to do is since we're on the PO view we're going to hide this view right here so we're going to hide this image by clicking on that button right there and we're going to hide the materials by clicking on this slicer and hiding it now that we have once I adjust this to where I want it let's leave this up here towards the top now what I would do is just for the PO, this is I'm going to go ahead and update that view. So now back, if I go back over to material now, what we're going to do here is move this up a little bit. We will hide this slicer. We will hide this slicer. Let's try that again. So what we're going to do here, since we already have the PO set up, we're going to click on material. And once that's open, then we're going to select the purchase order here, hide that slicer, and then we're going to go up here, since we're on the material, and hide this slicer, or this image. We'll readjust our, our images here. And now I can hit Update Material. 
Now the next and final steps that we need to do is create the functionality to where we can click between each one of these icons and the different views. So what we do for that is we highlight this icon right here and then I go over to the action tab and we're going to click on action, open this up and we're going to choose bookmark. And then what we always do since we're in the material view right now, we're going to change this to the PO. And then this right here, put a little comment in here to where when somebody highlights or puts their mouse over this icon, they'll see click to view PO. And then we can hit update material. Now I'll just switch back over to the PO view here and highlight that and repeat the steps like we did below here. We'll choose action, we'll choose bookmark, and then we'll choose material, and then we'll cl click to view material. Spelled that wrong. Go ahead and fix that. And then once we have that, then we can go ahead and update the PO. So now once we have that right here, we should have everything set up the way that we wanted to. So now if I just left click on this right here, So now I'm going to have to go back in and update this because I realized that for each one of these, I attach it to the original bookmark and not the new ones that we created. So what we'll do is here is go back over to PO, highlight this icon, go back to action, and instead of material in this one, we're going to go material version 2, and then we'll update the PO. Now I'll go back over to material, and... I already, okay, I did that one correctly, so we have that one saved as material version two. And now we should be good to go. So that should be good. So now if we're on the material tab here, once I click on this icon here with the left mouse click and holding down the control key in the Power BI desktop, it should take me to the PO version. Perfectly, it works great. Now if I wanna go back to the material view, all I do is click on this icon again, and it takes me back to the material view. So great. That's what we wanted for this video. I hope this helps you in a future project that you do. Um, all the best. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the DNA, the Enterprise DNA channel. And make sure you hit that like button below. That's all for now. Thanks.